Hello and welcome to another tutorial and this, on this tutorial I will show you how to open a port and this is a extra bonus video uh, so if you're watching this video you're probably yeah wondering how to open a port so and if you're not and just watching this because you subscribe well th this is the advantage of opening a port opening a port allows you to like have servers run on that specific port so other people can uh, access your application or server on your network so what you want to do is open the port uh, from your router so the first thing you want to do is press start and go go and get your command prompt so you can type in cmd into your search bar or if you're running windows xp or uh, or later no windows xp and sooner than that you can just open run and then type in cmd so i got my command prompt right here and then the thing i want to do is type in ipconfig and this will basically just fetch my IP for me. Or you can go and open your uh, uh, web web browser and in the search bar type in what is my IP.com. And this site is really helpful because oops, I should blur that out, shouldn't I? Uh, this site is really helpful because you get the IP. And basically you just want to copy that, paste it in your search bar, press enter. And it'll take you to your uh, to your router's website. So this is just stored on your server. This this is not Belkin's website. This is your router's website. So I'm using Belkin. It's going to be different for each company, but at least for Belkin, uh, you want to go to under firewalls. You want to go under virtual servers, and if you haven't, just type in a password, or if you haven't. Uh, set a password just leave it blank and uh, you want to go in here and you should see these boxes or these like forms that you that uh, you're able to enable or disable them by checkbox give a description give a port number and then select if it's TCP or UDP and then give uh, the private IP address so what you want to do is if you're making a server like a Minecraft server you want to press enable on two of them name a minecraft server and then uh... I'm just going to do the same thing for here and then type in the port you want so I'll type in that port okay. and one two three so there we go just put that in all the all these boxes where it says private port and inbound port and then you want to find out which uh, private IP address because if there's multiple computers connecting to your router it's going to have a different private IP address so you want to find out which private IP you are so that's what you can do when you go into the IP config it should get you your private IP so right here you see where it says IP v4 address uh, you see that's my private so it would be a point dot seven at the end so that's that private private IP so uh, yeah so that's basically it but for the difference so I'll just put a 7 right here because that's my private IP so you want to make a TCP one and a U UDP one so, the, so that's pretty much it that's all you have to do to open a server I'm just going to disable this because and uh, just not update it because if I do and I do this from a com computer that's not directly connected to the modem uh, it won't work because while it's trying to update uh, all these things it will, ac will actually disconnect your computer from the router and you won't be able to connect to it anymore and then it will interrupt interrupt it while it's trying to update its changes and that won't be good then you'll have to end up restarting your router and it's not fun trust me so uh, the thing you want to do is go into the computer directly connected to, to your modem and change it. Don't connect to a computer that is not directly connected to the modem and connected to the router, or else you'll have problems later. So, thank you for watching this video, and uh, appreciate a rating, and see you in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.